Here you see the first Cabrillo College campus adjoined to the new Green Technology Center that runs along Union Street in downtown Watsonville. Construction workers are mounting sunshades over a window. This is the inside of one half of the new Green Technology Building, Cabrillo College Center in Watsonville. You're looking at a shop area. This is a trom wall, which is designed to absorb natural heat from the sun and store it and radiate it out through these concrete slabs. These are workstations, bay doors to bring equipment and vehicles if necessary into the shop area. Slated for opening in the fall 2012. The whole facility has really been designed to be very flexible. Uh, one of the things that we understand is that uh, the needs of the local industry are going to change over time. And we always want to be able to use this facility to provide instruction in whatever skills local industry uh, is finding most important for the workforce today. The floor is dark. And that's because the sunlight comes in, sure. is absorbed by the darker colors okay. into the slab. So we actually, this is a this solar collector, the floor is, okay? Uh -huh. um, and then disperses that heat over time. So okay. it's a passive solar concept. All the tubing, piping goes through the floor and heats through the solar thermal panels. Mm -hmm. And there's also a boiler for backup. Those uh, panes were uh, like a gel filled that allows the light to go through, uh, but not direct rays, but also provides insulation. We also teach passive solar, so we try to take an integrated approach to instruction from a practical point of view. We just don't want to throw money at buildings that don't need or can't use those attributes. So from an economic and practical point of view, we type approach the building projects and planning and the design, etc. So that's kind of our whole approach.